All right, so uh, this particular uh, 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 Lancia uh, Flavia switch is actually a, uh, a, a, a unit that uh, we have dealt with before, made by CEAM, Torino, Italy. Uh, used also on the early Ferrari switches, except on the Ferrari switches, all of, these, all of this plastic is black rather than white. I, it, it makes no great difference. Now, now that we have uncovered the original bell that covers uh, these two units, we can actually see what we're dealing with. Uh, the concern is not in all of the headlamp contacts, which are all claimed to work correctly, nor in the electrical contacts that make the turn signal switch operate like that. But in fact, the, co the concern is, is that once operated in one direction and the canceling wheel comes across and hits it, it tosses it into the other uh, direction. Now, that uh, is annoying, but uh, we have to start out with returning the switch to uh, a functional in every regard, and it has a couple of problems that are obvious immediately. The switch has been apart and repaired before. These threaded screws that go all the way through are actually sheet metal screws Originally, these were four millimeter by 0.75, probably screws that held it together. Right now, uh, these screws are not doing a very good job. One, the sheet metal screws don't tighten down properly. And as a result, the entire cage is loose. It's also broken out right there. And, yeah. And, and of course, uh, yeah, there's a piece of missing plastic here where it's broken out. Uh, uh, we would actually embed a steel wire in this plastic and backfill it with methacrylate plastic in order to stabilize that. And I think we'd also investigate and verify uh, if the threads in here are retrievable or better yet, overbore it to the next metric size and put new screws in here because these threaded retainers here are just not tight on either side, as you can see. Now, additionally, the turns, uh, these arms come out at unusual angles. Uh, the turn signal switch itself actually is not currently locked into place. As it comes to the ends of its threads, it's canted over at an angle like this. Now, what is absolutely correct is more like this, and that makes the flat face of the plastic knob, which we've removed here, flat and flush with the headlamp arm. So ideally, uh, uh, we don't want to just jam it in against the threads. The ideal situation here would be to uh, uh, pin it with a set screw here so that it doesn't continue to unthread itself. Now, what typically goes wrong with these, by the way, as I go over into this portion here, is this is a piston that slides in and out of this sleeve. As I wiggle this, we can see that the piston itself is loose in the tube, as well as it's hitting the uh, these screws, which are incorrect. It's actually physically touching those screws, which is not a good thing. We need to shorten those with the correct thread of screws, I said earlier. In any case, what we generally do for this is we'll either resleeve this or make an accommodation so that the piston slides concentrically in and out of this hole, there's a spring in there that forces it out this direction. I'm helping it here a little bit. Normally it is only controlled from out here for left and right. And then finally, because of the original concern with it throwing it into the opposite direction, should mention that these are kind of one-way trips this particular unit has stronger springs on it than I've seen on any Ferrari switch. It could be, as discussed over the phone, that when the uh, uh, steering column activator comes back and hits this, that, uh, uh, that it's extending this out enough to throw it across into the next uh, 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 signal position, which is incorrect. They are really stiff. I don't know. I think that by stabilizing the carrier assembly, by stabilizing the concentricity of these, the piston, and by pinning the switch to the arbor here without damaging any wiring or anything else, 
uh, we'll have a much more solid activating switch. I think all of these things should be addressed. And I'll uh, put that together in an estimate and send it to you an email along with this uh, video. So that's it. Oh.